guys. Good morning from Yamagata Prefecture. So famous. Yamagata is famous for cherries. They make 70% of all of Japan's cherry production and they're supposed to be most delicious, Dang. right? So you guys probably have heard that fruits in Japan are super expensive, but they're also really delicious. So you get something for your money. They're amazingly good. So I'm expecting some really good cherries today. So take out the cherry. Yeah, so if you don't wanna stuff your face full of them while you're picking them, you can also get a little basket. So 350 yen for 100 grams of cherries is really cheap for Japan. I'm gonna be eating them as we go and Natsuki is going to bring them home with him. We've got one hour, all we can eat, all we can Pick. Let's go. Natsuki so the farmer just told us that there are five different types of cherries on this farm. There are so many cherry trees. They just go on forever and we can pick and eat whichever ones we like. He said right now, the ones with uh, red tape are the most delicious. Ah, red tape is the So whenever there's a video involving food, you know who decides to show up. <laughs> How are they? They're pretty good, they're pretty good. He said to go for the red ones. The red, the red ones. Reddest in color. So Japanese cherries are kind of like a mixture of yellow and red. They're really pretty. Two cherries in one. A rare cherry. Probably. So it costs fifteen hundred yen for one hour of oops, cherry picking. <laughs> wow, these ones are really yellow. Should we try them? Have it in the They're more dekai in it. I don't even look really. Oh. <laughs> so just threw a cherry at me. <laughs> this is abuse. Mm. Cherry abuse. So. Not sweet. Not sweet. Mm. Madaka. There's so many of them, but I can't reach them. They're too high. I don't know how many there are. They look like grapes. Cherry man. Haha! <laughs> I've stolen the camera. Now it's Chris Manda or Chris in Japan or whatever I'm gonna brand it. Anyway, here's Charlotte. I found a good tree. And again it has the red tape on it. The guy was right, but they're not even that red. But they're really sweet. I'm really big. So after today I will have had cherries from Yamagata apples from Aomori, mikan in Ehime. I'm determined to try each one of the famous fruits from around Japan. So that leaves Miyazaki mangoes, Hokkaido melon, and Tochigi strawberries. Those are the ones I know, so we've got three to go. We'll have to make some road trips to those areas eventually and try them, but these are super tasty. They're so different from the kind of cherries that you'll find in Canada, like the Western, the really dark red ones. It's a much lighter taste, but they're really sweet. 
and they're quite big and juicy, so they're really fun to eat. <laughs> the movie? So I used to live in this neighborhood many years ago. It was a great time. And uh, before I moved here to work as an English teacher, I looked up this region on Wikipedia because they said you're going to live and work in Yamagata. And on Wikipedia there was nothing. There was nothing about the town, nothing about the traditions or the culture. The only thing it said was Yamagata is famous for cherries. And that is all I had to go on before I moved here. Nothing else, just cherries. Um, luckily the cherries were good though. They lived up to the hype. When you guys are thinking of activities to do in Japan, you probably don't think about fruit picking, but it's such a big thing here. And depending on what time of the year you come, there'll be a different fruit available. In the winter, strawberries are available because they grow them in greenhouses to use in Christmas cakes, which is actually a short cake in Japan. So they use strawberries during the winter season, but there's always something available to do. So when you're in Japan, see what's in season and give it a shot. It's really fun. And the fruit is just so good. So much better than you could even imagine. すごい。おお、センクラ、まだ行った。1 <laughs> Alright, so that concludes our cherry picking adventure for today. So the cherry season in Japan is from mid-June to mid-July. So we just got in like giddy giddy <laughs> just in time. Um, so if you guys are interested in picking cherries in Japan, probably mid-June would be when they're at their peak tastiness. Thanks so much for watching and I'll link this farm down below if you guys are interested in coming to this one but there are cherry farms all over Yamagata so you don't need to come to this exact one. Hope you guys had fun and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now. I love the phrase peak tastiness. That's my new favorite phrase. Peak tastiness. Last cherry. <laughs> the, the last, last samurai. Cherry. The last cherry. Peak tastiness. Mm -hmm.